Alright, time to check out this sewing machine. Found it in the ditch at a boondocking location near a Goodwill. And I think it was probably rejected because it reeks like cigarettes. I didn't realize that at first, but uh, now that the weather is warmed up, it stinks. We'll just have to put up with that. Free uh, sewing machine is a free sewing machine, can't complain. Now I'll just leave this off for a while, see if it'll air out and get any better. So I have not even plugged this in yet to see if it works. I have a good feeling it does. Everything's all strung up. Seems all ready to go. Just step on the pedal a little bit, see if it does anything. Yep. Just barely tapping on it. Maybe I need to hold on to the other end. Hmm, is this supposed to go? Probably not supposed to go in there. Full speed. That works. Huh. Very cool. Cool. Alright, well. I'll look up some videos how to make pockets and then I'm gonna make and I wanna put some custom tool pouches and pen holders on my jeans. I'm gonna try uh different pattern here. I can't turn it clockwise. You gotta go counterclockwise for some reason, so let's try the zigzag. Pretty sure this might be reverse, I'm just guessing, because I don't see any other switch that would do reverse. seem to be doing anything. Oh, that's reverse. Okay. Oh, that's like speed. Okay. Let's see what's going on in there.
broken gear. Binding up, it looks like where the teeth aren't quite lining up there. Wants to hit the top of that, or so I guess we gotta pull that gear out and see if we can't figure out if that's something that can be ordered. <laughs> I just realized this is like uh this is like you move this up for however like see it's straight, so that zero is just a straight line, you move it to like three or something. Then it starts moving. Because it raises that bar and engages with a farther you know, with the farther stroke of this tar you know, higher up of the what do you call that? So I guess what you gotta do is move this up and then move this little thing right there so we got L whatever the L, L it is can I tell Okay, so this is changing what the little the teeth down there do that pull the fabric through. Like if I go to just this line, then these just bob up and down and don't actually move the fabric. The needle goes back and forth so I can put a piece of fabric in there and just... And I can put it in reverse and then it starts moving again. But just doing that, it looks like so. That little line just goes back and forth. Then the L, I guess, I don't know, goes back and forth and then moves the fabric through a little bit and then goes back and forth and moves it through a little bit. Kinda. I can't tell. That looks like it's just bobbing up and down too, so I don't know. So we are here at a rest stop, and I thought I would finally wrap up this sewing video I've had, have been working on for over half a year now. I first got this back uh, last summer out of the ditch near a Goodwill, and I started some videos. I'm um, just taking it apart and seeing if it worked and finding out what a popping noise was. So here I am, six months later, I wanted to, yeah, I didn't think it was enough just to upload a video of me tinkering with it. I wanted to add a project, which is sewing my two body pillows together. I use one pillowcase and two body pillows and one slips, always slips out from the other one. kind of ends up something will end up hanging out like that and eventually gets much worse so it's driving me nuts and I just I'm going to sew them together yeah, I just got two I like a nice thick body pillow so I got two together to make one so I'm just going to stitch them maybe not all the way across just at a few places Search on what that broken gear was, or reducer gear, or something like that. I have a link saved 
I guess it's a little bit of an assembly. Oops. Um, so I figured out what it is. See where I switch to a straight line. I guess I gotta stick with that. Holy crap! That's the zigzag. That I like. That's some really tight stitching too. Turned up this dial here, which grabs onto the thread a little better. Keeps it really tight. Maybe a little too tight. This is, this is fun. I like this thing. Let's pull these back out and don't get lost. And trim these up, I suppose. I feel like there's probably a trick to doing that, just like holding the thread or something. You guys, let me know if you know anything about this stuff. It's stuck a little bit too. There's a reverse button, so maybe I should try. Kind of keeps the thread coming from unraveled. back and forth, choo, 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 choo. kind of made like a little patch. Done. Kind of didn't really get centered on that middle spot, but it's alright. I just didn't want it to like twist or something. Freaking cool. Stay tuned for the repair of that gear, or that assembly, and future projects. Thanks for watching.